So I had something completely different in store for you for a video today. But we had a big structure fire down at the old mill. And so that would be good. Oh, thanks for filming that. Kind of have to be sneaky here. It's tough fight, fighting fires and making YouTube videos at the same time. Right, guys we are out of here back to the barn fancy meeting you guys here I got the best backer in the world it's the jack okay so a firefighter's personal gear that you have to carry with you and bring is your SCBA mask that's this right here uh, that's your uh, air breather. It's got a mic on the side there so you can uh, talk. People hear each other talk through it. These are usually custom fitted and you don't share them. Uh, so those, that's your, your personal mask. And then of course your helmet. Your helmet, um, bunker pants, and bunker jacket, which are two layers. There's a thermal layer here, then there's a Nomex, a fireproof layer on the outside. And then um, everyone has a radio. So you have to have your radio and then your, your boots, fire boots, of course. And then there is uh, the Nomex hoodie right here. This here uh, you put on, this protects your, your neck and your face where your mask doesn't, doesn't, doesn't cover. And then of course, big heavy firefighter gloves. They're big, big heavy gloves. And then, usually in your pockets, uh, you'll carry a few different things. That, this is all kind of personal choice. This is a combination tool. Uh, it does several things. It's got a, it's got a seat belt cutter in there, so you can cut seat belts uh, when you're on car wrecks. It opens up. It's got a a, a wrench here uh, for undoing couplings on hoses, and then uh, there's a gas shut off there on the side. So it does kind of does three things. It also it could be used as a door stop. You can jam that in there because if you're in an industrial fire, um, you, you'll need to, to block those doors so they don't close on you and you get trapped. And then most guys carry, uh, I have them in my bag, uh, wooden wedges also to wedge doors. But that's, uh, that's essentially it for, the, for your personal kit. Maybe a flashlight. All right, so uh, fire engines, in case you didn't know, are always plugged in. Uh, to a power socket so that they, uh, uh, they keep the batteries charged and they have a little thing in there that if you drive away and forget to unplug it that it blasts it out. It's got a spring on there and then you also plug in the an air hose to the that keeps the brakes up uh, so that you don't have to wait for the brakes to pump up. So that's and then over here follow me around I'll show you the other side. So we also have uh, these exhaust suckers here that hook up to the exhaust pipe that blow all the fumes outside so we don't have to breathe them here in the fire station uh, when the engines are running inside. Um, it's, we got everything, we're chaining everything up. This one here is our big four wheel drive unit. So we'll take this out if the weather gets really bad. And then um, this is our, uh, what we call the Tengen, which is a 2000 gallon tanker and an engine, both combination it's got a pump panel uh, we won't chain that up until it gets real bad we just keep them here ready to go so speaking of ready to go I'm ready to go what do you think let's go eat Well, you've made it to the end of another video. I want to thank you for giving me your time and for watching. I really appreciate that. I really appreciate you supporting the channel. Uh, I put a lot of effort into videos to make them watchable, uh, to make them interesting, and, and to have important messages in them. 
Uh, so you, uh, if you enjoy that, you can support me by clicking the thumbs up. Now is a good time. You can take advantage of that. It supports me, and we're, my family really appreciates it. So got some blast from the past videos for you. Top left is how to put together a battery station in your shop. The essential tools you need for maintaining and repairing batteries. Top right is the triple axe challenge. We'll see how the Autine axe stacks up against cheaper axes and mid-range axes. Left bottom is building Jack's belt buckle on the brake drum forge. And bottom right, my sister the fresh pea tries her hand at primitive logging. And you'll see how that works out. So thanks for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video. Mm -hmm.